if you like these kinds of makeovers, you like these kinds of makeovers. Hey, I'm Alexandra. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this video. Today we're at my friends at a Noelle's house in the annex in Toronto. I have a huge crush on their apartment. Their kitchen is one of my most favorite rooms in their home. It's bright, it's airy, it has a beautiful skylight, but it just needs some love. It just needs a little uplift. So they've given me $100 and I'm gonna try and make over this space using that amount of money. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Hopefully, we will soon find out. But let's get started. When it comes to rental kitchens, Ed and Noelle really lucked out, but there are a few common issues that they experience that almost every renter does too. Stained counters, cabinets and knobs that look a little worn out, and shelving that just doesn't match the rest of the kitchen. Here's the thing, you don't need to gut your rental kitchen to make it look stylish. Instead, spend a little money and update the things you have to work with. I'm here to show you how. First things first, we have to deal with these shelves. They make that side of the kitchen feel really dark and closed in. I considered getting rid of the shelves entirely and adding a pot rail, but didn't want to take away valuable storage. I'm going to ditch the low shelf to give them more space to prep at the island and to really open this corner up. Then I'm gonna paint them white. First, we have to deal with a bit of a life or death plant situation. Oh, and that's my BF Andrew putting in his regular unpaid labor time with Team Alexandra. We took them down and are cutting the brackets with a table saw. I say we because I do not trust myself with a table saw, so get someone to help you if you're not comfortable doing this on your own. These are IKEA shelves, so they've got a shiny coating on top. First, sand them down and then use a primer before you paint. I use paint at first, but see how it leaves a streaky finish? I actually found spray paint primer that was way better for this and then finished with an outdoor white paint. I already had this from an old paint job, but I know that everyone doesn't have paint lying around, so here's a tip. Go to the hardware store and ask for a sample size can. They're usually less than $10. One of the easiest ways to update a rental kitchen is with new hardware, but that's an investment you might not want to make when renting, and I don't blame you. I'm going to make these look brand new with a little spray paint. Make sure you use a primer when spray painting metal or else it will just run. I'm using a metallic gold spray paint that's going to match perfectly with the counters. While those dry, we're going to tackle these countertops. I found this amazing peel and stick contact paper on Amazon. It looks like marble, but it's basically a giant sticker that's waterproof and heat resistant. It's definitely a two person job to install, but it didn't take nearly as long or nearly as many tears as I thought it would. And bonus, you can remove it without damaging the counters, but if you leave it when you move, your landlord will probably love you for it. Now to tackle this Ikea island. Ed and Noelle use this for prep. It's untreated wood, so I'm gonna hack it so it looks a little more farmhouse chic. First, I'm gonna sand out all these watermarks to prep it for a stain. I usually just buy straight stain, but since this is a food prep surface, I bought a stain that also has varnish in it, so it leaves a sealed, shiny finish that will protect against scratches. I'm painting the bottom with an off-white that I bought in a mini sample size. A pretty gold hook and a rustic tea towel finishes it all off. Now it's time to put everything back together, my fave part. Look at how much brighter this corner looks. The bottom shelf was holding all of Noelle's cookbooks, so I'm finding them a new home. Ed and Noelle have all this awesome shelving that's not being used, so I'm taking the doors right off to create open shelving. The pop of color up here will draw your eye up and show off the gorgeous high ceilings. I'm hanging these spice racks now that there's more wall space. I originally stained them with the same color as the top of the island, but decided that white would look way better. Plus, now the colors of the spices really pop. See how the dish soap and hand soap create clutter on the countertop? Easiest way to fix this? These glass jars from Amazon and my retro label maker that I probably couldn't live without even if I tried. Did someone say Pinterest worthy kitchen? And finally, sometimes all you need is a bit of paint to make your walls or cabinets feel brand new. And we're done. I'm so happy that this kitchen now looks as airy as it deserves. I can't say enough good things about that contact paper. $39 for counters that look like real marble? That's a steal. That genius product and all the others mentioned in this video are linked in the description box below. And look at how cute those cookbooks look up there. And all it took to create that adorable farmhouse style prep station, a coat of paint and some stain. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like these kinds of makeovers, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and comment on what you want to see on this channel next. Thanks so much for all the love. Nope, nope, that's weird. And if you have any suggestions for a series name for this channel and these budget style makeovers, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. I love the cookbook like up there that. too. And the plant! It looks oh, wow. so much better. Yeah, it turned out really good. I love it. I just, I love how open it is. Like I can actually go under there and cook and the counters look so much cleaner. They were ugh, just so gross. It's just, ugh, it's just so clean and fresh and open and I am so happy with this.